Hey guys, this is Malakad again, and in the previous video I'd shown people how to set up uh, a miner for an ATI and an AMD graphics card. Well, uh, NVIDIA card users don't necessarily get the same hash rate if you're using that kind of program. There's actually a different program that is called a uh, CUDA miner that will actually help with your hash power if you have an NVIDIA graphics card. Now, we'll provide the link to uh, where the download is at the bottom of the description. Um, but just I'm going to go ahead and go through the, the whole setup uh, for new users, of course. If you're a new user, you're going to want to find a uh, pool, of course. Um, Lightbonk works really well. Once you're done registering and setting everything up, uh, you're going to want to go into your workers. And automatically, they generally have uh, one worker already set up for you. I've got four different ones with just a whole bunch of random charcoal on there. So it doesn't really matter. Um... I know some people are thinking, oh, you've got your username, password, and everything on here. No, that's just my workers' information. If you want to use my workers, feel free to. Just know that you'll be making money for me and not for yourself. Alright. So basically, once we download CUDA Miner, uh, you're going to want to find the little folder that you downloaded it to. I just moved it into this folder just to move it here. Uh, open it up and you're just gonna take this file and I've already extracted it but you just you click on it and you drag it over and you just drop it into the folder and it'll create this file right here you're gonna wanna open that up and in the same file actually it's gonna look a little different whenever you first open it up it should actually only have a readme uh, license and then two DLL files and an exe this right here so what you're gonna wanna do is find this CUDA miner, which is in the exact same spot, you're going to open it up, open up that folder, and then you're going to take all these files, and you're just going to drag them straight into the folder with the CUDA miner exe. If you don't do that, it isn't going to work. Okay? So close that. Now for all purpose, like I said, I've already extracted those files here. Now before we get to uh, actually going on this, uh, first thing you're going to want to do if this is your first setup is hit Alt or uh, find the tools and then folder options. You're going to go inside and go to view and in your view you're going to want to make sure that hide extensions for known file types is not checked. So if it's checked make sure that it, you uncheck it, hit apply, hit OK. Otherwise uh, what we're about to do isn't going to work and you won't be able to mine. We go back into the same folder where you've extracted all the files. You're going to right click, go to text document, and you can just name it CUDA text for whatever reason, it doesn't matter. You're going to open it up. When you open it up, you're going to type in CUDA miner.exe. The site that you will be using as well as the port and this is for your worker username and your worker password again do not use your uh, login information for the site use the worker information okay and we're not going to put any intensity or anything else on this. It will actually auto-detect it for you. But um, just to backtrack a moment. When we go to save. If you remember I had you go up to the tools and everything else. And check the view and make sure that that file wasn't checked. And this is why. Whenever we go to save it. You're not going to save it as a, um, as a text file. You're going to want to save it as a bat file. B-A-T. You're going to hit save, and as soon as that's done, it'll create the little bat file right here for you. Now the old text file you can delete, doesn't matter, it's trash now. And once you have that set up, go ahead and click on CUDA2, or whatever you named it. And this is just to show you all how it works, because I, I want to make sure that you know, once you have it set up, you're not just sitting there staring at the screen wondering, well, is it working or not, or 
whatever else and it'll tell you of course it's auto tuning you have to be a little patient give it some time as you can tell the Nvidia card that I was using before isn't worth diddly it's a GT240 um, I want to say the max hash power that I'll get out of this thing is maybe 20k or maybe uh yeah 20 20,000 hash maybe oh not even <laughs> not even but as you can tell it's um it's actually working it's working on uh, configuration 23 by 4 and it'll totally start putting out information for you accepted and that's what you want to see you don't want to see um what was it returned or, or fail or anything like that you want to see accepted that that'll basically mean that you're racking up your uh, verifications and let's go back here real quick we'll go back to uh, this and if we hit home we got 21 little valids <laughs> not 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 exactly the best of course like I said um, this is a horrible NVIDIA card that I'm using but I did want to go ahead and help out the NVIDIA card users that are out there and wondering why you know maybe their video card isn't putting out as much as uh, it should like I said if I'd been using maybe a different program um, it definitely would not be as high as this it would maybe be one third at the most of that if I were trying to running off of uh, actually the Litecoin miner itself it, it, but um, hopefully, again, like I said, this will help out some of the NVIDIA users out there and it'll uh, bring up your hash power a little bit. Um, if you have any other questions or information that you may need, go ahead and hit me up. Or uh, you can always try the forums as well. I know people are very helpful on the forums as well. Um, that's really about it, guys. If this helped any, of course, feel free to donate. My addresses are down below and have a good one.